Hello there. Um, I know that normally I don't do screencasts, um, but I wanted to show you something different today. Um, so I'm trying a new medium. Uh, my name's Dale. Uh, you might know me from Code Bright, the book for Laravel PHP, uh, Code Happy before it, or just being active in the community in general. Um, I've been working on something interesting the past couple of days, um, and I th I'd like to show you that. But first, I want to just share a bit of history, really. Um, so when Laravel 3 came out, I created a bundle called Anbu, which was a profiler for the system. So you'd register in it in your uh, Laravel application, you'd uh, bring up any page, and there'd be a toolbar at the bottom, and in that toolbar you'd be able to see SQL queries, log entries, uh, things like that, general debug information. This, uh, this toolbar was quite popular. Um, and later got brought into the core of Laravel 3 as the profiler, um, which is how you might know it if you've been in the community for a while. Um, so that profiler had a few problems. Um, mostly they were due to conflicts. So the profiler was appended to every view that happened in the application. So there were AJAX collisions, there were collisions with JavaScript and CSS, uh, depending on how you wrote it in the page. Um, there were a few things I didn't like about it, um, and I knew it could be... Uh, be done much better. Um, so it was ported to Laravel 4. I didn't port it myself because I wanted to do something better and I, uh, I didn't have the time to do it, at, uh, any time to do it at the point uh, where L4 was released. So there were a few ports of Anbu to L4, um, but I've created something interesting now that might be an alternative. Um, so yeah, it's called Anbu again for Laravel 4 and uh, to register it, all you've got to do is install the package and uh, and then in your application config you will register a service provider that you see here um, sorry, clumsy with screencast um, and you'll also see uh, you'll be able to register this I'm calling it a facade, it's not really a facade um, but you'll be able to register this facade if you want to use timers really all you need is the package and the profiler service there and that's it. Um, so before we get started, I'm going to show you my roots file. So this looks a bit different, um, but what I've done is I've, I've created some stuff to test the features of Anbu. Um, so we've got a sample root which calls to this AD method. This works in a similar way to DD um, that you might be familiar with with Laravel, but um, it's a little bit different. I'll show you what it does later. So for now, you can just see that I'm echoing out random values. Um, then we have the, this is the timer instance, what we can do here is create timers so we could have our code doing something here and um, and then we could stop it with the same key and give a message and later we'll be able to see how long that takes which is quite useful for profiling different parts of your application. So this is the Ambu facade that you'll need to register if you're going to use that. Um, here we're creating a sample um, database query, so nothing clever, just something quick to show that working. Uh, we're creating a few log entries, including some info and some errors, and we're rendering a view. Now down here I'm registering extra routes because this is a completely clean Laravel project, um, so there aren't many routes by default, so I've just I've thrown a few together. You don't have to worry about where those are going. This could just be anything in your application, just a demo page. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up a web browser and we're going to go to localhost 8000 8, where I've got a an instance of Laravel running using artisan serve just to make it quick. Um, this is the sample page that you're used to with Laravel but you might notice this little icon down here is a little bit dif different. So if I mouse over it, we've got profile this request. If we click on that, we launch the Laravel profiler for, for Laravel 4 that I'm calling Ambu at the moment um, and that's for this current request that has just run okay so if we hit that we're greeted with this screen um, the dashboard currently doesn't contain anything it's something that I'm working on so ignore that for now we just needed a place to, to, to land on a fresh um, a fresh viewing of Ambu uh, what we've got down the side is what I like to call the module men uh, menu so in Ambu for Laravel 4 Every section of the profiler is modular. 
Um, this includes the modules that are provided by the core of the profile, but you can also add your own. You could create some for your company, you could create some and open source them, and people can plug them into Laravel. Um, sorry, plug them into Anbu, um, which makes it really extensible. That's one of the things that I wanted to do with Laravel 4. It's one of the reasons why I didn't simply rebuild the original Anbu. I wanted to be able to do more with it. Um, Laravel has always been a community of people who embrace other people's code, uh, other people's packages and their great ideas and I think Ambu should be the same so I've made that extensible. Um, we can see the Laravel version here, it does work with Laravel 3, I'm just, I'm just running a 4.2 instance for this one, uh, for this demo. Uh, we see the time of the current request that we're profiling and the date and also the URL. Um, that spawned it. Now again remember everything is work in pro uh, progress here so uh, it's very very early um, and if we go to let's start with the roots tab so here we can see the current route that was matched during that request uh, and we've also got the action that it leads to so normally you'd have a c control and action pair but in this case it was just a closure I can't show uh, a lot more information about that unfortunately so but but at least we know that it's a closure and uh, we can see the method that was required. Um, what we can also see is all of the other routes that are registered in the system. So if you want to know whether your routes are being registered correctly, you just take a look at this table. Uh, we see that we've got a few, uh, few different methods here and different URIs and um, the destinations of these routes and closure again, if it's simply a closure. I've highlighted the parameters as well, just a, just a little UI tweak. Um, yep, and this is the routing table, so very useful if you want to make sure that your routes are being registered or just a reminder of what routes are registered in the system without passing through that uh, your routes.php file or even you can even see routes that have been implemented through service providers that might otherwise be hidden away from you, uh, which is why this is quite useful. So next we have the request tab. You may notice that these, these modules all have badges as well. So there's, there are seven routes defined, so there's a seven on the routes badge. I may change that just to urgent things later, we'll see. Um, so on this tab, we have request data. Now, if I'd have provided any post or get data on that request, um, you'd see it here in a, in a table form. Um, but underneath, we've also got the headers for that request. So here they are, key value pairs, and any server variable. So um, anything that would be in the PHP servers, uh, server array. Um, so we have those available to examine. Uh, further down we have the queries tab. This will show the queries executed in that previous request I've just clicked through from. So we're just doing a get from the Anbu table. Um, it's worth noting that Anbu now requires a database to be present, so you'll need that when installing it. Um, this is because of a feature that I'm going to show you later. Uh, we can also see the execution time of each query, so a great way of checking how many queries are run on that page, uh, what they're doing, exactly how the relationship queries are executing, and how long they're taking, so you can you can go about tweaking those and improving them. Um, next we've got the logs page, so we've got the info logs that we created from the roots page, uh, the roots file, and then we've got a swear word that I should have taken out for the <laughs> sake of a screencast, but oh well, uh, we're all grown up, so hopefully. Um, and we've got an error there, uh, so just a great way of running through the logs of your application um, if you don't want to be tailing a file or you know off to an external service, whatever you, you choose to do. Um, next we have these values that I DD'd, so if you remember those, we'll go back to the roots file for a second. Um, I DD'd these values here and uh, we can see them now in Ambu. So what this means is we can dump these out without fear of seeing them in our front-end application or forgetting to remove them later. There's, um, there's no risk of these appearing on the front end of the app. Instead, they've been captured inside Ambu, which is a nice way to dump out things. If you're still working like that, I know a lot of people will, will definitely prefer to work with Xdebug and set breakpoints in their code, but if you're still at the stage where you want to throw a, a quick piece of information out of, the app, out of your application, then the debug tab might be useful for that. And it's AD for Ambu Debug, which is quite similar to Dump and Die, uh, so quite easy to remember, hopefully. Next, we have the Timers tab. So here's the timer that we defined here. We didn't actually do much between it, so the timer is not going to be very long at all. In fact, 0.0000002 uh, 
uh, a microsecond. So there's there's nothing much there, but we see our, our comment, which is useful for, for identifying exactly what we did uh, during that timer, and the key for it as well. So hopefully you'll you'll find that quite useful for profiling certain sections of your application. Um, next we have a new feature for Ambu, or certainly very new for Ambu, something that couldn't be done at all in the previous uh, version, which is the history. So right now we've got one entry in the history, which is this current request that we're browsing now, the screen that we just hit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to this tab here and execute it again. So that's a whole new reset, uh, request cycle that's just been executed. Uh, if I click this again, we've got the latest Ambu request. So again, it's going to contain the same information because we didn't really change anything um, in the previous request. I mean, actually, let, let's, let's go and change something. So um, what I'll do is, just to see it changing, is I'll take some of this out. Um, so we'll have less, less of those. Uh, we'll take one of the logs out. And uh, yeah, that'll do. I'll maybe take a, a couple of the roots out. Okay. So now let's go back to the main page, execute it again, and and we'll click through from Ambu. Now we see that we've got less roots now. We had seven before. We've taken a couple out, and now we've got five. Um, we've still got the same query. One less leg log entry. Uh, we've taken a few of the debugs out. But if we go to the history. Page now we'll see that we've actually got three uh, entries in here. Now what these are are previous runnings of requests that have been captured by Ambu. So Ambu catches every request to the application if you don't count request to itself, of course. Um, what this means is you can go back and re uh, replay these requests and debug things from a while ago. So our first one was done seven minutes ago. Should we let's see what was in there again? Oh, okay, we've got we've. We've got seven routes. We've got uh, we've got a few queries, and we've got we've got more logs than we had in the present one. So uh, okay, there's seven there. How many did we have in the current one? We just click back to go back to the latest request, and we've got five. So we can replay any of our previous um, requests that we've created with Ambu. Uh, I think this is a really useful feature. Um, profiler bars in the Symphony framework. Uh, it's definitely not the the first framework to have done this by by the way, um, this was present in Symfony. It's something that I quite liked uh, and something that I wanted to replicate in Laravel. So the reason why we've got the database now is because of this history uh, tab. I'm going to look into adding additional drivers for uh, storing this, this, this data for previous requests. Uh, but for now, it's just the database. So eventually, you may be able to store it in files, etc. Great. Um, what else shall I do? OK, let's just, I just want to show you the request stuff working. So if we do foo equals bars, a get parameter on there, and then profile that display, uh, profile that request, and then we've got we've got foo bar in there. Um, so I'm hoping this will be really useful to you. Uh, what I'm going to do is end the screencast here, um, and then I'm going to record another one in a second that will show you how to or how the modules are currently constructed. Now, Ambu is available on GitHub under my own account, so that's dale slash Ambu. It's also up on Packagist. It's not been tagged yet because it's still very much work in progress. Um, for that reason, don't file any PRs, don't start building modules of your own yet. I've got some great ideas for, for tweaking the um, the architecture of it that I'm gonna put in place before, before we hit any finalized version, before I want people writing modules for it. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you like it. Um, let me know. Uh, definitely give give me some feedback. I'm I'm always looking at tweets on Twitter, so that's the best way to uh, to feedback to me. Or you know, feel free to write me an email. Great, enjoy Ambu.